what is a primary key? A primary key is a column or a group of columns that is used to uniquely identify a record in a table. Take note of that. It is used to uniquely identify a record in a table. What do we mean by that? Let us take for example that we have a table like this that has two rows in which you have two people having the same first name, same last name, state of residence, city of residence, gender, and also their date of birth. Everything is the same. How can you uniquely identify these two people? Knowing fully well that they both bear the same name, last name, reside in the same state, city, gender, and have the same date of birth. You can see right here that based on these different, uh, based on these data sets that we have, or based on the features of these two people that we have, we cannot uniquely identify them. Okay, now what do we need to do? Let us now assume this other table right here. In which case, we have an extra column, which is called driver license number. You can see, and we all know that everyone has a unique driver license number. So that means if I add a new column here, in which case I put the driver license number for these folks right here, this can help me to uniquely identify each of them. Do you get that right now, guys? So now, what is primary key? The driver license number is the primary key because the, this value will help me to uniquely identify this person and then this value uniquely identify this person right here. And that is why you see that everyone has a unique driver license number. Okay, so whenever you have such a situation or such a column that is unique, okay, that is a primary key. A primary key would help to uniquely identify a record in a table. Do you get that now, guys? It could also be group of columns. There are times you could have, uh, you know, you could have two columns being primary key as well that's also a possibility okay now let us take a look at another table right here we could also have a situation whereby we could have a column that we call id or you call it serial id what does that mean what that means is that each row or each record is going to have a unique id it's going to be serial, right? It's going to be the first row is one, second row is two, third row will be three, fourth row will be four. You can see that we can use this serial ID to serve as a primary key because each of these ID would serve as an identifier, a unique identifier for each record in this table. I hope you guys understand this right now. Take note again, primary key helps you to uniquely identify a record in a table. So in that case, I know I can be able to say that this John Lee has this ID one and this John Lee is a different John Lee as ID two. Or this John Lee right here has this driver's license number this John Lee, this second John Lee has this other driver license number. Do you get that right now, guys? Okay. Now, one thing I quickly want to point out to you is that primary key is also denoted as PK. It's also denoted as what? As PK. So that means that you could, you, you, you could be in an interview or in a situation whereby somebody asks you, that do you know pk in sql then you can say yes pk is primary key and then you can explain what it is one thing i also want you guys to know right here is that primary key is usually not null 
is usually not null. What that means is that for every row or for every record you have right here, there is going to be a there is going to be a primary key value. Okay, so let's take for example this John Lee. Let's say this Texas, this column here. I mean this cell right here is missing, is null, right? This serial ID one will always be there. It will not be null. That's why we said not null. Okay, no value, no value of a primary key will be null. Okay, it is usually not null. Okay, I hope you guys get that right now. Let's quickly go to PG Admin and let us run a query like this. Remember that we have been working with our DVD rental database just to better buttress the point that we are talking about concerning primary key. Let us just run a select star statement from the actor table. If we run this, let us see what we are going to get okay if we run this now let's see good we have run that you can see right here that for on this table we have actor id you can see it says pk pk is the primary key and we have first name and last name and as you can as and as you know that we could have situations whereby two or more people can bear the same first name and last name how do we uniquely identify them? That is why, as part of this table, there is a column called, called actor ID, right? So that means that each person will have his own ID called actor ID. And as you can see, this number is serial 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 200 because we have 200 rows right here as the total rows. If I go down, you can see we have 200 right here so that means that each person has his or her own id because that id helps to uniquely identify each person i hope you guys understand that right now in the next class we are going to be looking at foreign key and in some sub in other subsequent videos and also in subsequent videos also we are going to be looking at how we use the primary key and the foreign key in joining two or more tables all right guys if you are new to this channel i highly encourage you to subscribe and also don't forget to comment like and share this video so that other people can benefit also don't forget to click on the bell so you can be notified whenever we release any of our videos all right guys i'll see you in the next class bye